Hey everyone, this is David Brown with the Hawk Migration Update for September 13th, 2022. So the only real standout count today came from Hawk Ridge in Duluth, Minnesota, and they had 7,196 broadwings today, so their first really huge push, over 8,000 birds for the day. And there were scattered showers throughout New England with unfavorable winds and clouds. Uh, let's take a look at Quaker Ridge, Connecticut. You know, they had a couple birds, only six broad wings, total of 35 migrant raptors for the day. But their forecast seems favorable. It seems like that for Wednesday, they're looking for pretty good conditions and hoping to have their first push of broad winged hawks for the season. So us a little bit further south, um, we just need to be aware that New England wasn't getting birds moving in big numbers today. So um, we'll keep an eye on what happens at the New England sites tomorrow and the next day to see when they'll trickle down farther into Pennsylvania and here in Delaware. Looking at the weather map for Wednesday morning, we see that this cold front that passed through here last night is now well off the Atlantic coast. We see that this rain that was extended up through New England has pushed farther north and caught up with a warm front causing an occluded front. And if we look throughout the day tomorrow, we see that this other cold front is going to um, push through and I guess make it through our evening sometime on Thursday. But we're looking at a lot of high pressure over the mid-Atlantic and just looking at overall good conditions throughout the mid-Atlantic and New England for the next couple of days. So should be really good conditions for thermals to be generated. Um, should be a lot of favorable northwest and north winds. So um, the next few days are really when the broad-winged hawk numbers should start picking up at sites in New England and then farther south from there. Today at the Ashland Hawk Watch here in Hocassin, Delaware, we had a beautiful day. Sunny skies, but we had some clouds throughout the day helping us spot the birds. And we really didn't have a lot of high migrating birds today, but we had um, a lot of activity in the morning. Uh, good day for excipiters, good day for falcons. Only a couple broad wings, so um, just not picking up huge numbers. We really tried to scan overhead to spot things. We had two high broad wings in the afternoon um, and some high bald eagles and ospreys here and there. But really the majority of the, of the migrants were down lower, things like falcons and asips. And this really felt like the first day that the season was really starting to pick up. So um, it's definitely getting fun and it should continue for the next few days and beyond. Taking a look at the bird photos, we had a blue gross beak that posed nicely in the morning. So it's nice that they're still around. This osprey gave us a nice look in the morning as it soared. Here's a juvenile red-tailed hawk that's carrying some sort of leaf or something, who knows. Here's an adult red-shouldered hawk that gave us a nice look as it passed overhead and we can see those squared off wingtips and the translucent crescents near the wingtips as well and just the overall orange plumage underneath along with that dark tail with thin white stripes like chalk lines on a blackboard. And here we have an adult broad-winged hawk that glided over in the morning. You can see that broadwings have kind of really pointed wingtips in this posture and a very straight trailing edge to the wing. Makes them pretty distinctive. They're just kind of small chunky birds and we'll look forward to seeing a lot more of these in the coming days. Um, this was the only one in the morning and then in the afternoon we had two come over really high together. So um, we were scanning hard and just couldn't find any others. We'll keep an eye on the numbers at the New England sites and really over the next few days it should start to pick up here as well. Here we have a merlin that's feeding on the wing. It probably caught a dragonfly. And as we were watching it, another merlin came in and they glided overhead together. Here's another juvenile red-tailed hawk. So you can see those dark patagial bars and the belly band. And since it's a juvenile, no dark trailing edge to the wing and no red tail. Here's an adult bald eagle gliding towards us. And here's a juvenile bald eagle, so one that would have been born this summer. So dark head, dark underside of the body, a lot of white in the wing pit area and throughout the underside of the wing. Even trailing edge to the wing because it hasn't replaced any feathers yet. And light inner primary feathers. Here's another sharp shinned hawk. So kind of a smaller head, thicker globular streaking on the underside, kind of curvy a little more compact looking wings not looking super stretched out and the tail feathers look to be about the same length 
Compare that to this Cooper's Hawk where the head sticks out much farther. The wings look a little longer and straighter, just a little lankier overall. Tail maybe looks a little bit longer and a very definite rounded tail tip with that bold white tip to it and teardrop streaking on the underneath for the juveniles. So let me just go back and forth between those two photos a couple of times so you can get the difference. Sharp shinned hawk, Cooper's hawk. Sharp shinned again. Just notice that small head, a little more compact in the overall shape compared to the lankier Cooper's hawk with the big head. One more time, sharp shinned, Cooper's. And again, these are both juveniles. Here we have an American kestrel, and we know it's a female because of the streaking on the underside and also the tail pattern. Here we have another immature bald eagle. This one looks like an older immature. So even trailing edge to the wing because all of the juvenile feathers have already been replaced. I'd say this is probably like a fourth year bird. So the head, if we saw from the side, is probably quite white. Taking a look at the eBird checklist, today I had 48 species. And taking a look at hawk count, for our migrant raptor totals today, we had eight turkey vultures, 10 ospreys, 13 bald eagles, nine sharp-shinned hawks, 10 cooper's hawks, three broad-winged hawks, three red-tailed hawks, and for falcons, 14 American kestrels and three merlins for a total of 73 migrants. So this was our highest count so far this season. Taking a look at the forecast for tomorrow, it's calling for sunny skies with a high near 80, winds northwest at 10 to 15 miles per hour. So these are good conditions, good winds, um, sunshine to generate thermals. The one difficulty might be if there's not a lot of clouds, it could be difficult for spotting birds, especially in the afternoon when the migrants are usually up higher. So just be aware of that. And I also made the note that New England sites had poor weather today and low totals. So we didn't have a lot of broad-winged hawks coming down to fill in to be ready to migrate past us tomorrow. Um, we'll keep an eye the next few days to see when the New England sites and the Pennsylvania sites start to get bigger numbers. Um, but it seems like it, it would be a little unexpected to get a lot of broad wings at Ashland tomorrow, but um, should be a good day for everything else, kind of like we had today. For Thursday, we're also looking at sunny skies with a high in the mid-70s and winds north at 5 to 10. So again, these are favorable winds and overall good conditions, but if there's not many clouds, spotting will be difficult. And Friday, more of the same, mainly sunny, high near 80, but with light and variable winds. So again, should be good weather for thermals. And really for, uh, for the upcoming forecast, it looks like a lot of days of similar weather, kind of favorable winds or just very light winds and sunshine. So should be really good weather as we come into the peak of the broad-winged hawk migration. All right, that's it for today. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe so you don't miss any of these updates. From Lyco Birds, this is David Brown. Thanks for watching.